Number 1. Man Saves Falling Babies Twice In 1937, a mother was standing in the window of a fourth-story building in Detroit when she accidentally dropped her baby. Luckily, there was a man below named Joseph Figlock working below. He was a local street sweeper. He was working beneath the window when the infant fell from the sky and hit him in the head and the shoulders. The baby lived, and Figlock sustained minor injuries. A year later, another mother was in a high-rise building when she allowed her two-year-old son, David Thomas, to fall from the window. Ironically, Figlock was working on the ground beneath the window, sweeping an alley. When the child fell, Figlock was struck in the head. Both he and the child survived. What are the odds of a man being in the right place at the right time two years in a row? Also, what are the odds of two mothers being so irresponsible with their children that they allow them to fall out of a window two years in a row? Number 2. Left-Handed President Coincidence Only 10% of Americans are left-handed. When you look at the number of U.S. presidents that were left-handed, you would expect to see approximately the same. But of the last 14 U.S. presidents, more than half of them were left-handed. This includes five out of the last seven. Over the past 20 years, almost every presidential candidate has been left-handed. In 2008, John McCain and Barack Obama were left-handed. In 1992, all three of the candidates who were running were left-handed. This phenomenon is strange because in the 18th and 19th centuries, left-handedness was considered a punishable disability. Kids who were left-handed back then were forced to be right-handed. This all changed in the 1970s, and children were allowed to be left-handed. Number 3. Hugh Williams' Perpetual Shipwreck Survivor There have been millions of shipwreck casualties throughout history. If you're planning an ocean voyage and your name is Hugh Williams, you don't need to worry about being one of those casualties. In 1660, a ship sank in the Dover Straits. There was only one survivor, a man named Hugh Williams. In 1767, another ship sank in the same area. The only survivor was another man named Hugh Williams. A ship capsized in 1820 on the Thames. The only survivor on that ship was also named Hugh Williams. In 1940, a ship was destroyed by a German mine. Of all the people on board, only two survived, a man named Hugh Williams and his nephew, who was named after him, Hugh Williams. Number 4. The Deus Ex Twin Towers Omen In 2000, a PC game was created called Deus Ex. When the Skybox artist was creating the game, he forgot to add the Twin Towers to the New York City skyline. Some people say that the memory constraints involved made it impossible for him to add the towers. Other people believe that he simply forgot. Whatever the reason, he had to come up with an in-game explanation for the reason that they were not added they decided to say that a terrorist attack was responsible. When they created this explanation, there is no way that they knew that a year later that a real terrorist attack would take down the towers. It is a spooky coincidence. Number 5. Two Brothers Killed on a Moped In 1975, a man was riding a moped in Bermuda when he was struck by a taxi and then killed. This showed the world how dangerous riding a moped could be However, people kept riding them. A year later, the man's brother had paid to have the moped that his brother was killed on repaired. On the day he finished repaying the repair fees, he took it out for a ride. Sadly, he also was struck and killed. The crazy part is that the man was struck and killed by the same taxi, driven by the same driver, who happened to be carrying the same passenger as his brother's death. As far as coincidences go, this one is the biggest. Number 6. The JFK and Lincoln Coincidence America has two presidents who were loved by all, John F. Kennedy and Abraham Lincoln. The fact that these two presidents were loved by so many is not the only coincidence. First, Abraham Lincoln was elected to Congress in 1846 and John F. Kennedy was elected exactly a century later in 1946. Lincoln won his election in 1860 and his inauguration was in 1861. 
John F. Kennedy won his election in 1960 and his inauguration was in 1961, exactly 100 years after Lincoln. Both presidents had a vice president and a successor named Johnson. Both men were shot in the head in front of their wives and both were shot on a Friday. Lincoln was assassinated in Ford's theater. Kennedy was assassinated in a Lincoln which was made by Ford. Finally, both presidents have seven letters in their name. Very creepy coincidence. Number 7. Archduke Franz Ferdinand Assassination Coincidence When Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria was assassinated, he was in a car with a license plate that read A111-118. When it first happened, people didn't think too much of it. It's what happened later that is really strange. After the assassination occurred, a war broke out. It ended with an armistice on November 11, 1918. The license plate of the car that the Archduke was assassinated in was a spooky omen. The plate was coded A for Armistice 11 11 18, which is the date that it all went down. Creepy. Number 8. Message in a Bottle Competition a man named Mark Anderson was manning the fishing boat Copious in 2006. On this day, he found a message in a bottle that was 92 years old. Thanks to his discovery, he earned a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records for finding the oldest message in a bottle ever recovered. He was very proud of his accomplishment and often bragged to his friends and fellow fisherman Andrew Leeper. Six years after Anderson found his message in a bottle, Andrew Leeper was working as a skipper on the Copious off the Scottish coast when a message in a bottle floated right by him. The message was 98 years old. He took his friend's spot in the record books, and it was a spooky coincidence. Are these messages in bottles drawn to the men or to the Copious? Number 9. James Dean's Bad Luck Car this is one of the most weird coincidences that actually happened. James Dean had the nickname Rebel Without a Cause, and he was one of Hollywood's most popular heartthrobs. In 1955, he was killed in an awful car accident while driving in his Porsche. He's not the only person who was injured by this car. After the accident, the car was towed to a garage for repair. There was a mechanic working on the car, and the engine slipped out and shattered both of his legs. Years later, a doctor bought the engine to put in his racing car. He died shortly after while racing in the car. Another driver purchased the drive shaft from James Dean's Porsche, and he died in the same race as the doctor. Years later, the garage where James Dean's car was taken to be repaired was destroyed in a fire. The car was still mostly intact, though, and it was sent to Sacramento to show off. Unfortunately, it fell off its mount and broke a teenager's hip. Later, the trailer that the Porsche was mounted on was in Oregon, and it slipped from its tow bar and smashed into a storefront. Finally, in 1959, the car broke into 11 pieces mysteriously while it was sitting on steel supports. The cursed car no longer exists. Number 10. Doppelganger Coincidence King Umberto, the king of Italy, decided to visit a restaurant in Monza, Italy. After looking around, he found the perfect one. He and his general aide went in to look over the menu. When the owner of the restaurant went to take the king's order, the two men realized that they were practically twins, not only in the face but in their build as well. The restaurant owner sat down with the king and they realized that they were born on the same day, in the same year, in the same town. They also learned that they both married women named Margarita. Also, the day that King Umberto was crowned the King of Italy, the restaurant owner opened his place of business. On July 29, 1900, King Umberto was informed that his doppelganger, the restaurant owner, was killed in a mysterious shooting accident. While he was mourning the loss, he was assassinated by an anarchist who was in the crowd. The coincidences are uncanny. Many people who don't believe in coincidences believe that the two men were doubles from parallel universes. Number 11. Curse of the Dragon – Bruce Lee Bruce Lee was considered one of the best when it comes to martial arts. His final movie, Enter the Dragon, predicted the death of Bruce Lee's son Brandon. 
In the film, Lee's character is killed when a prop gun is substituted for a real one, and his character is killed. When his son was filming The Crow, a prop gun misfired and he was killed. Two months before his son Brandon's death, a movie was made about Bruce Lee's life called Dragon – The Bruce Lee Story. In this film, Bruce battles a metaphorical demon who haunts his family. During his final confrontation with the demon, it loses interest in Bruce and begins targeting his son. Brandon was still alive when this scene was shot. Two months later, Brandon was killed. Robert Cohen, the film's director, believes that Brandon's death was fated to happen. It is a very spooky coincidence. Number 12. A bullet kills its intended victim years later. In 1883, a man named Henry Ziegland was shot at. He left his girlfriend and she committed suicide. In order to make him pay for what he had done, his girlfriend's brother shot him. The bullet only grazed his face and lodged into a tree. Right after shooting Ziegland, the man committed suicide himself. Years later, Ziegland wanted to see the place where he was almost killed, as he believed that he was the luckiest man alive for surviving. He went to the tree and decided to cut it down because it still held the bullet. The task was too difficult for him to do alone, therefore he took more drastic measures. He took a few sticks of dynamite and believed that blowing up the tree would be the best way to get the bullet out. When the tree exploded, the lodged bullet in the tree propelled from the tree and shot Ziegland in the head, killing him instantly. It's very creepy that the very bullet that was meant to kill Ziegland all those years before eventually did. Number 13. Poker Winnings Go to the Estranged Son In 1858, a British man named Robert Fallon was cheating at poker. When his rival discovered this, they shot him, leaving his $600 dishonest winnings on the table. Back then, poker players had a superstition about taking money from a player who won by cheating. The man in the game decided to give the pot to the first person that walked by the saloon. The man was given Fallon's $600 pot and also a place at the table. Soon, the man turned his $600 pot into $1,000. When the police came to investigate Fallon's murder, they determined that the original $600 be given to Fallon's next of kin. When searching for him, they realized that his next of kin was actually the man they gave the $600 to. That man walking by the saloon was Fallon's estranged son, who had not seen his father in over 10 years. Number 14. Same Name, Same Hotel In the late 50s, a man named George D. Bryson checked into the Brown Hotel in Louisville, Kentucky. He signed the register and took the key to room 307, where he would be staying. After being out at a business meeting, Mr. Bryson went to the receptionist to see if he had any mail waiting for him. The receptionist gave him a letter that was addressed to Mr. George D. Bryson, room 307. When he opened the letter, he realized that it was not for him. It was actually for the man who had just checked out of room 307 before Mr. Bryson checked in. The two men had the exact same name and the exact same room number. Spooky. Number 15. Virtual Twins Died and Born on the Same Day The founder of Ferrari died in 1988. The same year, footballer Mesut Ozil was born. What is strange is that these men are identical. Some wonder if Enzo Ferrari was reincarnated as Mesut Ozil. Subscribe for more!